Hello everyone, so today we are going to learn about the RPC using RPC chain where RPC stands for remote procedural call. So first we need to check whether we have installed this RPC bind and the make, make to create files as per the ONC and the structure that is required to make and call for the RPC. So what do we mean by RPC? Remote procedural call is a protocol that one program can use to request a service from a program located it on another computer on a network without have to understand the network details. If we follow the below diagram, we can see there are client functions and server functions and there are client stuff and server stuff which is the skeleton and the sockets are there which is used for communication between the two computers on a network if we want to describe the protocol so there is an input file generally the input file we will save as .x and run the rpc gen on it while running rpc gen on it it will create the client stuffs xdr filters header file and the server skeletons and what do we mean by rpc bind the rpc bind utility is a server that converts rpc program number into universal addresses it must be running on the host to be able to make rpc calls on a server on that machine when an rpc service is started it tells rpc bind the address at which it is listening and the rpc program numbers it is prepared to serve what do we mean by RPC port mapper? RPC port mapper is a server that converts RPC program number into TCP IP or UDP IP protocol port numbers. It must be running in order to make the RPC calls. What do we mean by interface definition language or IDL file? A file contains interface and type library definitions is called IDL file. The IDL interface body is used in remote procedural call and the function prototypes for the remote procedures. And what do we mean by the port mapper? The RPC port map or just port map is an open network computing remote procedural call service that runs on network nodes that provide other ONC RPC services. So what is how to identify the procedure? Each procedure is identified into hostname, program identifier or procedure identifier. And Sun divided the program identifier ID into for use for Sun, sysadmin, transient and reserved. So if we press Ctrl Alt plus T to open the terminal, let's press RPC info. If we get this output, it means that RPC service, RPC bind service is running in our computer. We can also see that service is a port mapper and the owner is the super user or the where we can see that the super user is the owner and the net ID whether it is TCP or UDP 6 or local and if we run rpc bind it will show that rpc bind is already running so it is aborting in our next video we will learn how to establish connection between a client and a server using rpc gen thank you for watching